All right, you can go ahead now. It's on record. All right, so good evening, everybody. And I trust it's been a fantastic day for you. So we're not going to waste time with this. We are going straight to the point. Now, what you're seeing on the screen, the reason I'm starting from here is because there was a call this evening. And um, if you check here, that's the Manara Trade Ideas gold call. All right, so that's a gold call on to sell gold. Now you see here, no price was given for to sell gold here, but you have the SL, you have the TP1, you have the TP2. Now, before I continue, if you can hear me and see my screen, give me a 111 in the chat box. If you can hear me and see the screen, give me a 111 in the chat box. If you can see the Telegram uh, group I just opened here, type 111, great. Okay, beautiful, awesome, fantastic, great. All right, so now, um, calls come this way. Now, if you scroll up, you see the earlier call for GBP JPY. Oh, please, uh, hello, please. You didn't share. I'll be saying no, no, no. You didn't share your your full screen. You only share the empty. Okay. Oh, really? And I yeah. asked if they can see. Okay, so okay. let me see. If I, say the let me share the full say no, 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 no. Thank okay, you. let me share the full screen. Let me share the full screen. Okay, let me just share the food. Let me share the screen. Okay. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. All right, can you see the screen now? I guess you can see my Telegram screen right now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So... Okay, so now this is the Manara Trade Ideas uh, platform on Telegram. That's uh, Trade Ideas and Session. Now, this is the earlier signal for GBP, JPY. For those who took it, you didn't get to TP1. And um, I called for us to move it to break even. And then because of what I was watching, I felt it was still going to go back or bet. It failed. So, but then the TP was very small. So, for those who only exited at the break-even, there was no loss. But for those who re-entered, it was a loss of about a few pips from the entry. Then I look at the current trade that is on, which is the gold sell. Gold sell. Now, if you see here, no price is given for the entry, just a call to sell. And when the call was made, let me put this to four hours. When the call was made, gold was gold was around here. This price was around around here. So I'm I not sharing your in. only sharing the telegram group. Your full screen is the first one. The first one is your mm. full screen. Then every yeah, other yeah. one you are seeing it is I can see. I can see. I can see. Sorry. I thought I clicked on it too. <laughs> I thought I clicked on it. It's... All right. Let me get back there. All right, I hope my screen is, audio is uh, visible right now. The platform. The platform, empty for a scene. Okay, good. So when the call was made, price was up here, somewhere up here. And that was when I saw it. And of course, I pulled one at 2013. And then the second one at 2012. And then I set up a buy limit to be at 
2015. All right, so I was supposed to enter four oppositions. Now I'm supposed to enter the, open the fourth one. The reason for that is simple. If you come here, you see that there is a TP1, there's a TP2, there's a TP3, and there's a TP4. Now, before you go to do that, to open four separate positions, you need to ask yourself what you accept as risk. Now, you may have $50 and you are willing to accept um, a loss of $10. That is all put together. You may have $100 and you are willing to accept a loss of $10 all put together. You may have $1,000. Yes. How are you? How are you? You may have $1,000 willing to accept a loss of $10. Talking. Go ahead, I'll take care of that. I've done that. All right. So you may have a thousand dollars and you're willing to accept a risk of ten dollars, which is for that one thousand that will be one percent as a loss. That's a risk of ten percent, ten percent now, but for one thousand dollars, a one percent risk. All right, so, so all that are important. Now, if you think, because somebody, I think it was Jim Rohn that said sometime in his life, there was a time he lost $10 bill and he fell sick for two days. He lost $10 bill and he fell sick for two days. Now, if you are the type that if you lose $10 out of $100 and you fall sick, then you know that that risk is an unacceptable risk for you. If you know that you, if you lose um, $20 out of $100 and you won't be able to eat for a day or two, then that risk is not for you. That means you want to reduce your risk. So that's where you begin with because psychologically it will impact on your decision, for your trading decisions. Because if what you want to risk is not something you can stomach, then fear will be your next best friend. And what that means, fear will lead to missed opportunities. Fear will lead to you jumping out of trades before time. Fear will lead to you. Um, a whole lot of things will go wrong with the trades. So that's why you must first of decide on what is acceptable to you as risk. All right? But it doesn't matter if you, even if you can afford to risk or lose 50% of your account in a trade in a week, that doesn't mean you should do that. You have to be reasonable in all that you do. Having said that, because I'm saying that because of, you know, these multiple positions you may want to open. So you must have calculated your risk well. And of course, sometimes where the signal is coming from also can give you the confidence to enter or not to enter. It's very, very important. So um, you notice that first TP had been hit, but then uh, second TP is what the market, the, uh, the thing is targeting right now. You can see it's already at 2,008.85 and second TP is supposed to be 2,007.12. And now I had set up this to that if it had got to 2015.88, then the first stop loss was supposed to be 2010.09. But what happened was that I didn't I, by the time he hit TP1, the first trade, which was at the entry, was at 2013. The target was supposed to be the third TP, which is 2001.97. But when I saw he had hit TP1, others have taken their profits. My question was, what if it turns back now? At least let me take something in while I move the other one to break even. That was when I made a call to move your stop loss to break even while the TP1 had been hit. So I had to readjust the TP2, that first TP, meaning that I want to adjust this one to my, to now go to 2001, which is the third TP, 2001.97. So I have to adjust it to 2001.97. And I'm going to actually show you, uh, because I believe that there, we have people here who, still do not know how to place all these kinds of things because those are the first basic things you need to know. Okay, so having said that, this is how the signal works. So when you know the source of your information, it will increase your confidence level. 
And then not having known that Manara and Eminos, the signal is a gift. Now, listen, it doesn't matter what anybody says. All traders win, all traders lose from time to time. Please take note of that. All traders win, all traders lose from time to time. Now, the calls we get from Manara, from Eminos, and other tools in economy are very fantastic calls, profitable calls. Does that mean they don't lose? Of course, this very one, Euro GB, that I mean JPY today, is, a, is, is just one of them. Now, they, they didn't say we should exit from a BP, or rather, I adjust your stop loss to B now, like, let's move it to a BE. Now, having not made that call, it means that this trade was a loss, okay? So that's just one. Now, sometimes losses can come. You just have to take them in. At the end of the period, whether it is the week or the month, you now calculate and see how many trades you took, how many were winners, how many were losers. Overall, what percentage gain or what percentage loss? Then you move on to the next period. That's the mindset of a trader. A trader must always have that mindset. Trades come, trades go. You win some, you lose some. Next trade. If you don't adjust your mindset to this, you will find yourself floating over lost trades that you should have moved on from. And then you dwell on it, and then it drags you to the point that you are unable to even see what is coming next. A couple of friends many years ago, they won, they, they, they did some trades, pa, 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 and they made $10,000 in one day, and they called a party, called their neighbors, and everybody celebrated, they made $10,000. Guess what? The next day, they lost $15,000. So don't over-celebrate your wins, and don't gloat over your losses. Once a trade is closed, is it profitable? Next trade. Is it a winner? Next trade. So that's about that. So let's quickly now, for those who, when you see the calls, you don't know what to do. That's what we want to do right now. A call comes, like in this case, sell gold. It didn't tell you sell limit or buy limit. Where you find price will determine, and what you see in the market will determine what, what you should do. When this call was made, gold was going up. But because of this price action here on this particular one, I'm sure you can see this particular candle I'm pointing to. If you can see, type a yes for me. If you can see this candle I'm pointing to, type a yes for me. Type a yes for me. If you can see the candle I'm pointing to, type a yes for me. Oh, great, great. Thank you. All right. So now when the call made, was made, this second one, the current candle now, was going up. It was bullish then. So it was a good opportunity to enter a cell. So, and when I saw it still going, I had to go ahead and open the third position because I already opened the first one, which had closed. And then it came down a bit. I opened the fourth, still going to go up. I opened the third one. And if gone up to one, one, uh, 2016, I would have still opened the fourth one because I was meant to, I was going to open four positions so that each one would take care of. TP1, TP2, and TP3. All right, so but how do you do that? So when an, uh, an alert comes like that, if it is sell limit, all right? Sell limit is simple, simply this. Price is going down, all right? And you see that the trend is going down, um, and then, but start of it to keep going down, it's going up. But you will know that, understand support and resistance, but I'm not, so it, there's a level it will, you think it will get up to, and it will start falling. That means that you think that though it's Are you still there? Yeah, sorry, my network knocked me off, but I'm back. I've changed the location. Okay, I've changed the location. Let me reconnect my screen.
Okay, it's loading. Okay, so, so when you see that the trend is down, but instead of price going down, it's coming up. It's an opportunity for sellers to hop into the market. Now, remember that in the market, sellers sell at the high, while buyers buy at the low when it's an uptrend. So in an uptrend, a buyer will look for a low price to buy low. While in a downtrend, the seller will look for a high price to sell high. So that's the concept behind the sell limits and buy limits. Sell limit is that, yes, price is supposed to be going down, but currently is climbing up. So it's providing an opportunity for someone who is more conservative, who is not aggressive, to hop in on the market, to, to wait for price to get to a certain level, then he hops in, into the market. But an aggressive trader will want to take it at any level where it is. If you just say sell, pump, you will sell at that point. That is instant execution. You just see a lot comes, says sell, you know, you the sell them gold. He didn't check the price, pump, he did the sell, sell price before he start checking his uh, stop loss. But when you see a an order to sell or buy, first thing you need to check is the stop loss. Because that stop loss is what you use to measure your risk between your entry and the exit for a loss, to cut your loss. So for example, now, currently price is around, around 2008, okay? And then you see a stop loss at 2017. 2017 for stop loss, 0.88. If you sell at 2008, you know what that means if it goes against you. So check it out. That's almost 90 pips. Right, that's almost 90 pips. The question is, are you ready to accept that? If not, then you want to adjust it, which is why what we've done here is, okay, if it's, if I enter 1588 here, and it hits my stop loss at 7, 2017.88, that is 2015.88, and it hits the stop loss at 2017.88, it means I'm risking just about 20 pips. So entering at 2012.24 here, and he hit the stop loss at 2017.88. So it means that my stop loss will be around five points. I mean, 50 points, all right? Um, 50 points, that's about around the six, four. Okay, so that's how you calculate that. So once you calculate, I still think that you can, I can stomach that, then I allow it, all right? So that's that. But now I don't want to sell at the current price. I want to use a sell limit and I want to sell at a higher price in the future. Hoping that price will get there. That's how I set up this one. So let me quickly set up another sell limit order. Now, when you come to pending order, you select pending order at that point. You select pending order, no longer market execution. You select pending order. So under pending order, you have four types there. You have the buy limit. You have the sell limit. You have the buy stop. You have the sell stop. So let me quickly do sell limit that I've just explained. I will explain the others. So here I say sell limit is to enable me sell or enter the market on a sell at a higher price than the current market price. The current market price is 2008.38, and then the bid there is 2008.10, as you can see it here. But then I am not selling there. It's too low for me to sell there. I want to sell high, higher. So I'm selling at 2016. I'm setting to sell at 2016. Or, okay, let me say I set it at 2014. Let me sell it at 2014. So I'll sell at 2014.44 or point even 80. Let me use 0.88. I'll still set my stop loss to be at the same exit, 2017.88. And then I'll set the target. Now, remember the issue of target one, target two, target three. To so we'll be able to um, take advantage of all of those targets, we want to open. If they say two targets, open two positions. If they say three targets, open three positions. Then make sure you are using this lowest risk available, the lowest loss size available. Lowest loss size as available because it's better you stay in the market for longer. Because if you try to grab all the profits in one trade, think of what if it goes against you and all your money is finished in one trade. Now, better opportunity will now, better calls will come maybe in the next call and you miss out on it. It can happen. So that's why you need to really be careful. Watch out your risk, what you're taking. So, so we can now take here, since we have taken um, TP2 here, so we can now use 2001 
okay, which has have put your look have put two thousand one point nine seven. So let me use two thousand and uh, that's nineteen ninety seven rather. I'll use nineteen ninety seven. Well, that is the next uh, TP. That is the fourth one. If it will happen today, to nineteen ninety seven point zero one. So we we'll use that nineteen ninety seven point zero one. Zero one. Okay, so, and that is it. That's for cell limit. Now, what if, where it is now, I think that it may not go back up again. It may continue going down. So am I still, okay, let me see if this price breaks below because sometimes you see on your Manara, sometimes you see Manara, maybe a triangle, and then it tells you, it just gives you two ranges, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Then if it breaks below this, that's like a breakout trade. A breakout trade. If it breaks below this, enter. Let's say if it breaks below 2007, we are going to sell. So, and I don't want to keep stay there and be watching it. I may want to use the next type of pending order because we are still on sell. So I'll select sell stop. Now sell stop is a, an order to sell the market at a lower price than the current market price. A price to sell the market at a lower price than the current market price. So, for instance, currently, price is at 2008. It's almost at 2009 here already. So, and I say, okay, if it falls to 2007 or even 2008, if it goes to 2008, I'm going to sell. So, I might decide, okay, let me sell at 2008. And then I will still put the stop loss using the same stop loss that they have given us 2017.88. Now, but mind you, when you calculate this, I think that it's too high for you. You want to uh, stay away from it. So let me use the target 2001.09. Okay, point nine seven rather. 2001.97. So I said the sell the pardon me. Okay, now it's too close. That's why it didn't enter. You can see price already has dropped. It's too close already. So I move it down, further down to 97. It's still too close. It's still too close. So that means it wants me to move further. Let's say I use 2007 and enter. So once price is too close to the current price, where you want to enter, it will give you invalid order. If the stop loss you place is not correct, it will give you invalid order. If the take profit is not correct, it gives you invalid order. So that's about that one. Now the next order type you have is if you want to buy, for example, as we want to buy now, I could just say hit buy and then set my stop loss and take profit. But there's no parameter for me to do that, so I won't buy. But what if I say, okay, let me uh, use a um, buy limit order. I think that by the time price hits 2007.12, which is this entry, a scalper can do that. If you're a scalper, maybe 2007.12 is a target. For example, by the time you hit 2010, uh, uh, you know, to the, that's the first, the first TP. By the time you hit it, it returned back to around uh, 2012 or 2011, rather. Then after that, it, it rolled back down. So now let's say by it comes to 2007, and you feel that if it gets to 2007, it will pick up and come back to maybe 2010. I could decide to scalp there and use pending order, buy limit. Buy limit is an order to buy at a, at a price lower than the current market price. A future price lower than the current market price. Once again, I say buy limit is an order to buy at a future price lower than the current market price. So in this case, I say buy limit at 2007.12. So as soon as it's hitting the take profit of that one, it will, it's picking this order. And I say, okay, stop loss. Let me take it to 2001, but that's too risky though. Point nine seven, and then I'll set my target to be at 2012 or rather 2010. Let's say 2010. Okay, and leave it there. So that means that it will just be giving me around 30 pips versus about uh, 40 pips. So I place it, that's my buy limit order. Though that order is not acceptable because that's not a cover. I'm just using that so you know how to place that order. All right, so the next order type is the buy stop order. So a buy stop order will now be to order to place a buy order at a future price 
that is higher than the current market price. Now, a buyer will want to buy low, all right? A buyer want to buy low and a seller want to sell high. But what will make a buyer to want to buy high at a price higher than the current market price is because there's a resistance above that is resisting price from going beyond where it has the height has got to. For example, by this morning, price had hit 2018. Price had hit 2018 as at this morning. So that forms the highest so far this month. And in fact, it's a few months uh, from about five months now. That 2018, you can see on the screen there, if you can see the, the, the price summary here, if you can see the price summary here, open, high, low, close. Can you just type in the chat box and confirm that for me? If you can see the, the price summary that I'm jumping to that um, candle and it's showing me open price, high price, low, to, low close. Please, you can see it. Just type price in the chat box or type any price you can see there in the chat box. Hello, if you can see the price, I'm pointing my cursor to a candle and it's giving me the summary of the price, open, high, low, close. If you can see it, just type in the chat box, type chat in the chat box. Hello, am I speaking to myself? I mean, if you can see my screen, you can see me pointing to a, a candle and it's showing me the prices. Just type in the chat, just give me yes, give me a feedback. Great, great, good. So now, from the price you see here, now from the price you see here, 2018 is the highest that price has attained in the last five months, 2018.15, and it attended this morning. If you remember on Friday, there was a call from Eminos um, Telegram Group about us buying gold when it broke, if it broke past 1997, that was the call. And I dropped it on a platform and he told us that the target was going to be 2016. Anybody that saw that will be like, excuse me? But then, by the time we woke up this morning, gold, uh, you know, normally it was around um, 1 a.m. on the platform time, which is around uh, 12 midnight, and it jumped all the way to go and hit the targets and past it. So now this high level it has attained this week has become a resistance. Now, if you notice, you see that it's first now, this is when you study price action. These are some things you want to know. I'm not supposed to be teaching this, but I could want to show something so that I will place the next order. After this thing recorded it, the next candle that opened attempted that high. He knew that it was a tall order. He went back and closed bearish. The tall one opened, attempted to go out there. He couldn't. The next one, went up, they couldn't. So these are the things that professionals study and know when it is time to go the other way. But if you don't know, you keep on struggling. After all, ah, you went up, you went up, you want to join it, and then you'll be on the wrong side of the market. Okay, so that's why it's good to learn. As you're learning, follow what the professionals are doing. You can see that he has picked the trade that I set, the buy limit I the buy limit I set, yes, he has picked it. You can see that he has picked it. So what am I going to do now? Okay, now there are two others he has picked here. One is the sell stop and the other is the buy limit. And he has closed the order that I set to close at 20, 2007 points, uh, what is it called now, points, uh, what's the enterprise there, point one two, right? He has closed it. He has closed it and then picked the buy limit order and opened the buy the sell stop order. You get it now. So now you know that the buy limit order, I wasn't to open it, but then for this demonstration, I had to open it up. Now the sell stop order, yeah, I ordinarily mean I would want to open it, but it's also a good order in the sense that if you if I show you the levels using five points analysis you might see that it might be a good trade. But for me personally, except I see those levels, I wouldn't place this order. But because of this class, I had to open it. Okay, now, so having opened that, now let's look at it. You think that, okay, this is still going to go up. It's still going to go up. And then at a higher, a certain price level, maybe let's say 20, 20, 20, 08, 20, uh, it will buy again. So I could decide to now, so let me use buy stop at that point. 
Okay, so that's why I will pick buy stock because I want to buy at the price higher than the current price. Maybe how the price is dangling around here, I'm not so confident about it. Let it go up and break a certain resistance level. Okay, and then I'll set it. Or, or I'll use what I was using to show you here. 2018, that price attained today. Let me buy when I'm, I see that price has broken past 2018.15. Maybe I could just add five pips ahead of it and say if price gets to or breaks 2018.15, which is 2018 point, maybe two zero, buy for me. So I can use buy limit order at that point. So I'll use 2018.20 to buy. Then I can use whatever I want to use for my stop loss, depending on whatever I see in the market at that time and set my target to wherever Maybe I want to say it's at 2030 and then set my order. That's the buy stop order up here. Okay. So that is how to do that. Now, for I've put up sell limits, I've put up um, sell stop, sell stop has triggered, I've put up buy limits, I've put up buy stop. So you can see those here. So you have your buy stop here far away. You won't be able to trigger it today. You have a sell limit, you have a buy limit okay so that's how to put those orders now this one now if i don't want it again i can close it i can close it because what is happening now is a hedge trade for me now all right so until one hits the other if he hits target for the other then the other will exit so that is about that so now that he has hit that target the, the logical thing will be for you to go and attempt the other upper level if he attempts it fine if not you will keep going down so at that point, I might decide to even exit this particular uh, buy order since what we are after here right now is sell. Because once there's a sell call, don't try to buy, don't try to bring your emotions into the market. Just follow the instructions. Why? Because those that generate these signals, they know it better than you already. And the system that we're using, Manara, um, today we're not teaching about Manara or any particular system at all. Today we'll talk about Manara. We're going to show you how to also use it when signal when signals come up on your Manara app or your Manara um, page so that you know how to use it beyond the one that you know that you receive on the Telegram group. I think I'll pause at this point and see if there are questions to take on what I've just discussed so far so that we can tackle them. What are you having challenges with that we can tackle? Ask it as a question right now. Open for questions, please. You may raise your hand so that you are muted. Okay, if you understood all I've said, just give me a confirmation that you understood it because understanding is very important here. Yeah? It's not just good to be copying and pasting because if you're just copying without understanding, you just be like you copying Expo and you don't know what led to it. If you just understood what I just said here, you give me a one 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 in the chat box and then you come up with your questions. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Okay. Um although you were very fast though, and then um, I have studied some of the materials, that was how I was able to get from and then from the few teachings you had. That was I was actually able to follow what you were saying. But for someone that is coming in new, it will seem a little bit kind of strange because we're very, very fast. But the question I have is um, uh, the Manara, setting it up, uh, I try to set my own off body for the notification. I'm having issues with that. Then uh, the video I watched from... Um, um, and setting up your own, you know, we're supposed to set up our own I mean, currencies, currency pairs, and then um, the time frame. If, for example, maybe we are scalpers, you set five minutes and 15 minutes time frame, and all that. But after setting my own, I saved it. The next day, when I tried to, you know, we're supposed to save it, but the next day, when I tried to open it to view it the way I saved it, I did not find that particular, you know, settings I did again. So I don't know if. Is my question is for this class or okay, uh, this okay. the next but session I'm only having issues. All right, the next session will handle that. You know, we will handle the back office and you will take us through that. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. Any other question on based on what I've just explained? Yeah, I get you I was too fast. Wow. So I was too fast. So I'm going to 
work on that in the next class. But I thought I wanted us to cover what we cover within the short time frame available. But then we might still repeat this subsequently. All right. So, and um, I think that's about that. So, any other question, please? Any other question? In the absence of any other question, I want to then believe that everyone keep it quiet, understood what I've been said, and I'll hand over to uh, Super Amazing Dino Gold. He's going to take us on the next session. Thank you very much for joining, and God bless you. You know, good. Take it from me. All right, thank you, thank you, everybody, thank you. Uh, that, please give it up to if I inche, please for for that training. And uh, next time we are going to please, if you just type uh, five five on the chat box, let's give it up to him uh, for what he has done. Next time we'll go to the phone. We we'll use phone because I know that uh, majority of you are using phone, so we are going to be. We we'll use phone next time. That's that's a desktop version of MT4, MT5 there. So next training we are going to be using. We we'll use phone. So that will make it easy for you, uh, to understand that because we want to make sure that everybody, you know, go through these things and understand it very well and begin to work with it and do what we need to do. So now let me take the second segment right now, right? So I'm taking the second segment. Let me, so let me share my screen. Let me share, let me share the whole of my screen so that I can navigate around. So now this is it. You see my screen now. So now, are you seeing it? If you are seeing my screen, please, can you give me one 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 on the chat box? Our time is already far spent. One one on the chat box, if you are seeing my screen. All right, I want to take us to Manara right now. I want to take us to the back of it. But based on the fact that someone is talking about Manara, Manara, maybe we'll just go to there. Talk is part of the things we need to know about. Setting up our system in the back of it. So now, and I want to take us to the ECA. Are you getting the take, take us to the ECA because we have our new ECA right now. There are things have they've changed many things in there. That this is the Forest Academy. We have English and we have for beginners, we have for advanced. So if you go now, you go to forest, you have English, they have Arabic, then we we'll have beginners, then we we'll have advanced, so that it will not be clustering. That's a very good way, you know, for people to be able to know how to go about these things. So now let me close it back. And this is Manara. So let me log into my back office now. So once you log into your back office, there's so much to do here. But I want you to know one thing that here is a place where we come to learn. If you come into this place, you find out that all these things here are all for training. Now, Coming now, we move to here, Forest. We click on the ECA. Very important that you go to the ECA to learn. Now, once you click on the ECA, it's for you to go to the back of it. Now, you go here. This is the main place. I want people to come here. Come here and learn. Very important. We have live trading sections. So when you click for live trading sections, then you go to no more. They're adding things and even master class into it. But now, so many, the master class is telling you the, you know, you come here, you see, you know, all the things that we have. Today is 27th. So 28th, you have, you know, Chase Campus. That's for, for stock. We have Jesse Ramos. We have Raf. Another when you click on it, it will tell you what the person is. Then on life forest trading and education section for an enriching journey, we are learning another. So you click view and then you go see it's on 28, 11 p.m. It's So now 
But the ECA is already changed. Yeah, we have forest, we have English, you have beginners. And then follow the beginners and begin to learn more about forest. So spend some time here. They say mastering forest, trading how to make profit and what in the world's financial market. Step-by-step -step guide to making your first forest trade. Tips and strategies for success. What you need to know. Understanding market movement, how to measure peeps, percentage changes, and other metrics in forest. Go down, you see everything. This is for beginners. Someone who know nothing, next to nothing about trade. You will come here and learn on your own, but we'll be doing some of those things that you will. want you to know how to calculate your peeps, how to measure peace, what the way to go about it, leverage, how to do your leverage, everything about things that you need to know when you're opening your account, how to do it on your phone, because I know that majority of us have phone, right? So you we are going to take you through that. Then now coming to this point here, we have, you will come here too, we have forest, then we have Manara. But first and foremost, before Manara, go to the Eminus. And then when you get to the Eminence here, we have English, we have Arabic, we have Spanish. This is the Arabic one that I told you. That here every three day, 3 p.m., this man give calls in the Arabic. Arabic, they don't speak Arabic, they speak in Google. I, I connected it today as well. So now I'm going to show it to you on our forums. This is it. This is the Arabic class. Are you getting? Look at the Zoom just finished and uh, in Arabic. You say Zoom, you go there and the man get, make two calls today. All of them were in profit. So, and they have their own. Look at this that is happening here. Look at this share man. Guys, this is the Green Friday today. Big push up. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa one up. And the Can community start, is making profits. Is it? Here is the community, guys. Yeah, it's a shopping right. day. That's amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they don't speak Arabic. They speak English. All these pips and yeah. the community is enjoying the Black Green Friday. So Green right. Friday here on the US 30, guys. Oh my God, my heart is so fast beating. Yes, Julia, yes. Oh, that's amazing. That's an amazing. So now he make these calls every day live in the Zoom. But you see, this is yes, that he, he makes the call steady every day and they make fun. He will just stay there, make all the calls, and then just collect, you know, look at, you know, all the calls, the results. You know, all the calls that they have for the new week, you have 200 plus 232 peeps collected. This guy is crazy. So there, I mm -hmm. just look at this as a wow, what this guy have. I attended the Zoom today and I do every day he calls, they come on Zoom and he gives the trade, they watch it and they are, that is, this is super awesome. <laughs> the guy is really really serious you know, and people will be calling people will be immediately you get to the trade you say enter and then you make you say exit they'll just make you know enter again exit just like that you say we are closed for the day so i've made 500 so i've made 1000 so we've made 500 like today 500 and all that and it's gone every day on the call so there's so much here and if you don't know it you feel that the reason why we've not started doing training because we I, I, we are still learning. The, the tools in e economy is big. That's the community is big. You see experts, different experts. I didn't know that, that when I've seen the Arabic, I've not entered it before. But I don't know that. So maybe I said, look, I'll enter Spanish too to come and check what is happening in Spanish because they are speaking English. It's not even using their native language. Yes, in Spanish, they put their native language and they put English as well. So it makes it easy to come into these zones, into these classes, and then churn up profit that they are doing here. Here is simply amazing. Every day on a live Zoom, you can see this is 15th. Every day, 
on a live Zoom, it comes. So he give out simple result. Look at this. Wow result. He said 1,169 pips. Wow. That is the result. No, the weekly overview page went crazy. Look at it. You know, they, they give calls here, they give serious and look at the guy. This is the guy. So he speaks English, but he's in Arabic. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to tell you that you are bringing back our weekly overview session for the live weekly overview session. So Sunday, today, you will watch the weekly overview. You will put your studies. And if there is updates, if there are trades who, are, who hit already, every Monday, 9 p.m. Dubai time, we will have with this link above. You can register to this link. It will be, so we will have uh, a weekly update about the main pairs mainly the main pairs are the euro usd gbp usd gbp jpy gold us 30 and if we have time and opportunities we will be at the same time uh, talking about the rest of the pairs like the usd cad usd chf aud so that is it so now we now come to that's the point on that. When you get there, so get to Arabic, go to Eminos, get to Arabic, get a lot is happening there. Sincerely, man, I saw it. I was like, you know, maybe I'll check out the Spanish. I go there too. It's, there's a lot happening in all of them. So now, when we go to the forest aspect, now let's go to the Manara. So, you know, the echo is there, but Manara, there's so much. You know, uh, was it three days ago? I was just thanking God that um, we find our way to to here, to the economy. And I was just saying that this is a blessing. Maybe if what you know, happened before didn't happen, we won't find it. I, am, I can't put into words the kind of life that will be transformed. I feel so happy about something that is happening. Because when you put yourself into study of the economy, man, you know that there is a lot for people here. So now let me take you here. So we'll go access Manara. There's a lot to do in Manara, right? So let's go to Manara. There's a lot to do in Manara. We can't finish this in a day. We can't finish it in a day. So when you go to Manara, you set up your pin. Please set up your pin. And then when you go, to Manara have patterns. Now, for someone who said the setting that he made that they didn't see it, is because you didn't save it. When you go to monitor, you save. There is this is default, and then there are money like me. I have money spinner and money maker, right? So you can have default. If it's on default, if you didn't save, it will be on default, right? But if you want to, and when it's on default, you see a lot of things, all of them, so many. Now, setting is like this. Check, if you come into Manara, the first thing you should look at, from when you click on monitor, you are going to security, and then you are going to settings. Very important. Security and settings. And then maybe after that, you have to click here to save your setting. If you leave it on default, if you come back, you have to redo the setting again. That means it was not saved. I'm putting the name there without clicking to save it. It's still the same thing. I want to show you that this thing is simple. It's not as hard as you think. Getting... We, we have an AI software that scans the market and bring it to you. You know, one thing is that we have automation. Echo is an automated system. Our EA is an automated system that we are giving for free. You are not sharing profit with us. Those who are on it are already making 10% in view. You know, it's not even up to a month. Those who connected their $1,000 to their account, $2,000, $3,000, they, they are all in profit. Oh, oh. So now, and the echo on his own is Eminos plus Manara raised to power two. That's echo for me. So we have a lot here that will, that's automation. But now 
on your own, you can still you can see what I showed in in uh, Eminence Arabic. Just go there. That guy is, has never lost a trade. I've been told about him, and if you go to his class, even in every of his class, he always like to give out traits, live traits during his live sessions, and all the traits are all in profit. Will he lose one at one point? At some point, yes, he will. He will lose trade because he's human. But for now, he has never lost. I tended the one today. He did all the trade calls all went into profit. Life analysis. That's the kind of professionals we have in the economy. So seeing this kind of things, you just give God thanks that you are part of it. But what we are doing is that we are learning, trying to get the information that we need so we can pass the right information. I don't claim I know it. I'm going to the market and mess up. My reputation and prestige is always at stake. So now, let me show you this now. Let me clean this up. Now, I say go to setting. On security, you see, okay, this is already set. No, it's not set. Now, on security now, you see all the major pairs. So you can pick what you want. If you want to remove anyone, just click on it and then like USD card, click on it, it will go up. If you want any of the minor pairs, minor pairs, you just on it here. Just click on it and it will be on. But if you don't need it, you just leave it without owning it. Okay, let me click it and leave it a little so that it will just add. It's added now, right? But now, but when I click it again, it will not show that I don't have, don't need it. It's off, okay? Let me close this one too. So now you go down, you are seeing bonds. Oh, you don't need bonds. You click, you click to off. Okay, indices, all right. I love that indices, USD 30. So for me, I may decide because that guy is doing crazy with USD 30 on the indices as well. So I'm going to leave that USD 30. Before I don't like indices, but I've seen the guy do crazy things with it. So I just want to check any broker that I have it. Right. So I now leave this. Then you go down again to commodities. Okay, I don't trade commodities. I don't trade sugar. I don't trade beans. I don't trade that. So you just close it up. I don't trade wheat. I don't so now we have to metal. The only metal I trade is gold. So you're going to remove everything here. Sorry, we are we security. Remember? So you go to security, you remove that. This is how to set these things up. If we can't finish setting it up today because of our attention span, we are going to continue in our next training. So I won't go to the telegram group today because of time. So we have the this thing. This is the this is the gold here. So I leave it. So we get here. Let's do this, do that. Sorry. If you go like this, come back again and keep it. This is so simple. This thing is simple. It's not hard. Just know what to do and it becomes simple for you. So that's there. So I've lived security. I go to setting. This is the setting where you now see we have what we call the all. Then we have the mature. Now, when you talk about mature, it's just that, you know, when the patterns are just recently completed, then it's one to four part, you know, candles. I know that we have the complete and then we have the incomplete. Now, incomplete patterns is that it remains to complete. That means maybe you want the alert, but it's not yet complete. Then you can now watch it complete and then you take the trade. But when you put it on complete, when the pattern is fully formed, the food is ready to be eaten. You don't need to waste time. You know why? At times, incomplete is good is that it will tell you there's an incomplete pattern, but it will complete. When you look at it, so and so time, you complete. So you can come and stay there and wait for it to complete. But when it gives you a complete uh, pattern, yes, you can come because market always fluctuates up and down. It doesn't go sideways. Even when market is on a downtrend, it will always go up and come down. It doesn't go, it will just be like swap view. I'm going down, I'm going up. Do you know where I'm going? And before you know it's dropping, it's going down. So he has to do that. So even if it's complete, you come back, you may come back to entry and then you can, so you can use complete. Then time frame, I don't like scrapping. 
except on a live Zoom with somebody. If not, I like 30 minutes. Yes, I like one hour, four hours. Okay, let's remove day. Okay. You can leave day, maybe a trade will stay for a whole day. And then we have month. If you don't like, you leave it. So now we come back to assets class. Uh, for me now, I'll remove bond. I'll remove commodity. You understand? I'll remove bond and commodity. So now, because I've added one indices, right? Remember, I had one indices because of that guy. So we have forest, we have metal, we have metal, one metal to gold, and then I have one metal, uh, one indices, US 30, right? So now we go to pattern. Now, this Manara use pattern. And we use pattern to give us trading ideas, trade ideas. So now, if you use pattern, all I have to do is to now choose my pattern. Or if you are someone that knows a lot of pattern, you can use two or three pattern if you can calculate it properly. But now, based on this past result, we found out that these patterns are good when it comes to, you know, we, we use it that we use bat, crab, or butterfly. Are you getting? So now for me, I know bat is more accurate than even crab and butterfly. So, but now let's look at it. Let's put it this way. Then you remove the ones you don't want. Remove the one you don't want. And leave the ones, you know, we, we have wage, triple top, range, up and handle. These are all good patterns, you know, but it depends on what you want. Just don't, don't do what others do, what you know. But based on accuracy, bat and butterfly have been good. But you can put crap on it. Then we have bullish and bearish and unknown. You don't need unknown means it's not going up or down. It's somewhere. So why should I know that? I need a bullish or a bearish pattern. Simple. Not the one that is unknown that I need to figure out. Are you get it? So once I'm not seeing your screen, who says not skip my screen? Are you are you are sharing? sharing screen yes i'm told that i'm sharing screen so if you're not seeing my screen maybe somebody if you're seeing my screen please can you type yes if they are not seeing my screen everybody would have if they don't scream then that means something is wrong because if i've been talking all this while and nobody see my screen then okay good somebody is seeing it this thing somebody is saying it so now so now when you finish that, all I have to do is to come here and click here. And then once I click, I need to come here and type. Type the name. And once I type the name, I will click here. Look at this button here. This is a, this is a button that is going to approve it. So when you, that you put the name without clicking this button, does not mean you've saved it. You must click this button. And once you click the button, then you now go back to notification to set up the notification process. So in the notification process, because this one is going to come to your Telegram. So you need to come to setting again and set these things up based on what you want. So you'll be able to now be sending you message. You set up, what do I have? I have five minutes. No, I've been getting this for five minutes. Uh, this thing that I no, don't want. Uh, okay. You know, close it up so that I won't get in the five minutes things again. And then I'll be seeing for five minutes. I say, who set you up here? So that's, you come to the setting and set it up properly so that you will not be sending you signal based on what you set up here. Then the next thing you go to the, you know, uh, watch list and add what you want. Because I didn't choose all the forest major. So I have to leave it over. I have to check it. I have to uncheck forest minus and add all the things that I want here. And if you want, you just put here to add. And you get it. So when you put there to add, let me see what I didn't add so that uh, uh, I, will, I will add it now. You know, USD is there, GBP, JPY. It's GBP, JPY is there. Oh, all right. So I'll be able to check whatever you, do, you feel you don't have, you just put it here and add it. Maybe New Zealand dollar. Do you have that? I don't know. 
So simple as that. Now let me stop here because of attention span. Do you have any question? There's more to do on Manara, but do you have question based on what I've done? Any question, please? Any question? We've, we've bombarded you for over one hour now, right? So if you have question, please unmute and ask your question as we stop it today. So we'll still continue this training. Any question, please? Question, question, question. It's question time. Ask question, and so we can help you to know. One, I showed you how to get access to the ECA, what you need to do for beginners, please get there. Then access to Manara, how to get access to the Manara system and start setting it up for you. If you don't know, please watch this video back and know how to set that manner up. And all. But if there's any question, just ask. Ask and let's provide you with answers. More trainings will be coming going forward right now. More especially about the back office, how you need to place your people uh, if you do registration. And then more about how to promote the business because this is not a business of referral. This is not a business of network marketing. This is an affiliate marketing system. So all you need to do is just to go there and share the opportunity that e-economy provides and then be a product of the product by using those products to make to achieve one or two things, then you can do that and all that. I have been surfing around the e-economy, but I haven't. But well, you haven't, you, you didn't, you, I have been surfing around the e-economy, but I haven't. Uh, that's no question. Maybe you wanted to add something to it. Please complete the question. I believe the question, uh, complete the question so we can continue. So now in the absence of every other question, I think I can call it a day right now. This is our term. It is almost this 11 minutes past 6 p.m. And I believe that next time, please come on time, come with your questions, go and try and do all, all the things that we ask you, we showed you today and that will help you to become a better trader. Now, you can't come into this business. You want to be part of e-economy and you are not trading. It's wrong. Let me stop the, this thing.